Neurofibromatosis, NF, is a complex genetic disorder that affects the nervous system. It is characterized by the growth of tumors, known as neurofibromas, along the nerves in various parts of the body. NF can present with a wide range of symptoms and complications, making its diagnosis and management challenging. In this script, we will explore the pathophysiology of NF, its clinical manifestations, diagnostic methods, differential diagnosis, treatment options, as well as its impact on neurological function, tumorigenesis, neurofibroma classification, and psychosocial considerations. Additionally, we will discuss recent research advances in the field, the importance of genetic counseling, and conclude with a holistic perspective on NF management and care. Let us delve into the fascinating world of neurofibromatosis. Neurofibromatosis, NF, is a genetic disorder caused by mutations in specific genes, NF1 and NF2. These genes regulate cell growth and division, and mutations disrupt their normal functioning, resulting in uncontrolled cell proliferation and tumor formation. NF1 gene mutations lead to reduced neurofibromin production, affecting the RASMOP pathway and causing abnormal cell growth. NF2 gene mutations result in non-functional Merlin protein, affecting cell shape and adhesion. Mosaic forms of NF, with genetic mutations occurring after fertilization, can lead to variable manifestations. Understanding NF's pathophysiology is essential for developing targeted treatments and improving patient outcomes. Ongoing research aims to unveil the complex mechanisms involved for potential therapeutic interventions. Neurofibromatosis, NF, is characterized by the presence of tumors called neurofibromas, which develop from Schwann cells and can occur throughout the body. Superficial neurofibromas appear as fleshy nodules on the skin, while deep neurofibromas affect deeper tissues. NF1 may also present with pigmented birthmarks, cafe au lait freckling in specific regions, pigmented iris hematomas, lish nodules, skeletal abnormalities, and cognitive impairments. NF2 primarily affects the vestibular nerve, resulting in bilateral vestibular schwannomas, acoustic neuromas, and associated symptoms such as hearing loss, balance issues, and facial weakness or paralysis. It is crucial to recognize these manifestations to provide appropriate care for individuals with NF. Diagnosing NF can be complex due to its variable presentation and overlapping features with other conditions. Clinical criteria, known as the National Institutes of Health NIH, diagnostic criteria, have been established to aid in diagnosis. These criteria consider the presence of specific clinical features and the results of genetic testing when available. Genetic testing plays a crucial role in confirming the diagnosis, particularly in cases where clinical manifestations are atypical or the family history is unclear. Testing can identify specific mutations in the NF1 or NF2 genes using various techniques, such as DNA sequencing and multiplex ligation-dependent probe amplification, MLPA. Identifying the specific mutation can have implications for disease management and genetic counseling. It is important to note that genetic testing may not detect all mutations and that a negative result does not exclude the presence of NF. In such cases, clinical evaluation, including regular monitoring and follow-up, remains essential for accurate diagnosis and management. As mentioned earlier, the clinical manifestations of NF can overlap with other conditions, leading to diagnostic challenges. Differential diagnosis plays a crucial role in distinguishing NF from other disorders that share similar features. Some conditions that may mimic NF include Legia syndrome, schwannomatosis, Noonan syndrome, and various syndromes associated with multiple cafe au lait In cases where the clinical features are ambiguous, genetic testing and careful clinical evaluation are pivotal in making an accurate diagnosis and guiding appropriate management strategies. The management of NF requires a multidisciplinary approach, involving various medical specialists, including neurologists, geneticists, oncologists, and surgeons. The overall goal of treatment is to alleviate symptoms, manage complications, monitor tumor growth, and improve quality of life. The treatment options for NF are tailored to the specific manifestations and complications encountered by patients. For neurofibromas, observation through regular monitoring is often recommended if the tumors are not causing significant symptoms or impairing functionality. Surgical removal may be necessary for neurofibromas that impinge on vital structures, cause pain, or affect mobility. Techniques such as laser therapy and radiation therapy may be considered for specific cases. In the management of NF2, treatment may involve the surgical removal of vestibular schwannomas, hearing aids, and rehabilitative therapies to address hearing loss and balance issues. In some cases, the use of targeted therapies, such as bevacizumab, has shown promise in reducing tumor size and improving symptoms. 
management of associated conditions, such as scoliosis, learning disabilities, and cognitive impairments, requires a comprehensive approach that may include physical therapy, assistive devices, educational support, and psychological interventions. Clinical trials and research studies evaluating novel therapeutic approaches are continuously underway, offering hope for improved treatment strategies and potential breakthroughs in the future. Neurofibromatosis can give rise to various neurological complications that can significantly impact the quality of life for individuals with NF. These complications include peripheral neuropathy, which can cause pain, weakness, or sensory abnormalities. Plexiform neurofibromas, a more invasive subtype of neurofibroma, can infiltrate nerves and lead to pain, motor deficits, or compression of adjacent structures. Additionally, individuals with NF are at an increased risk of developing gliomas, including optic pathway gliomas, which can cause visual impairment. Seizures, hydrocephalus, and cognitive impairments have also been reported in some cases. Understanding and managing these neurological complications require close monitoring, timely intervention, and a multidisciplinary approach involving neurologists, neurosurgeons, and other specialists. While neurofibromas are generally benign tumors, a small proportion of cases may exhibit malignant transformation into neurofibrosarcomas. Malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumors, MPNSTs, can also occur in individuals with NF and are associated with a poorer prognosis. Regular monitoring and early detection of any suspicious growths or changes are crucial to identify malignancies at an early stage and initiate appropriate treatment. The underlying mechanisms driving malignant transformation in neurofibromas and MPNSTs are still under investigation. Research is focused on deciphering the molecular genetics and cellular pathways involved, with the ultimate goal of developing targeted therapies. Neurofibromas can be categorized into different types based on their anatomical location and histopathological features. The three main types are cutaneous neurofibromas, dermal neurofibromas, and plexiform neurofibromas. Cutaneous neurofibromas are the most common and typically appear as small, dome-shaped growths on or under the skin. They often increase in number with age and are typically not associated with significant medical complications. Dermal neurofibromas are deeper neurofibromas that involve the dermis and subcutaneous tissues. They can cause cosmetic concerns or occasionally impinge on surrounding structures. Plexiform neurofibromas are the most challenging form to manage. These fibrous tumors infiltrate nerves and surrounding tissues, posing a risk for functional impairment and associated complications. They tend to occur earlier in life and have a higher likelihood of malignant transformation compared to other types of neurofibromas. Accurate classification and understanding of the different types of neurofibromas aid in making treatment decisions and predicting potential risks. Medical genetics plays a significant role in the diagnosis, management, and genetic counseling of individuals with NF. Genetic counselors, in collaboration with geneticists and other healthcare professionals, provide vital support to patients and families in understanding the inheritance patterns, genetic testing, and potential risks associated with NF. NF has an autosomal dominant pattern of inheritance, meaning that an affected individual has a 50% chance of passing the mutated gene to each offspring. Genetic counseling helps individuals and families navigate the complexities of genetic testing, reproductive choices, and addressing the psychosocial impact of living with NF. Advancements in medical genetics, including next-generation sequencing techniques, are improving our ability to detect genetic mutations, identify mosaic forms of NF, and uncover potential modifiers that influence disease severity and progression. Living with NF can have significant emotional and psychosocial implications for individuals and their families. The visible signs of NF, such as neurofibromas or cafe au lait macules, can affect body image and self-esteem, potentially leading to social difficulties and psychological distress. Children and adults with NF may face challenges in school settings due to learning disabilities, attention deficits, or cognitive impairments. Psychological support and educational interventions, including individualized educational plans, can help mitigate these challenges and promote successful educational outcomes. Psychosocial considerations also extend to genetic counseling and family planning. The emotional impact of genetic testing, reproductive choices, and the risk of passing on NF to future generations can be a significant source of stress. Counseling services and support groups can provide valuable resources for individuals and families facing these challenges. Advancements in NF research are expanding our understanding of the disorder and paving the way for potential therapeutic breakthroughs. Researchers are studying various aspects of NF, including the identification of new genetic modifiers, better classification systems, and the development of targeted therapies. 
Recent studies have focused on investigating the role of the immune system, molecular signaling pathways, and potential targets for pharmacological interventions. Different animal models, including genetically modified mice, have been utilized to study disease mechanisms and evaluate novel treatment strategies. Clinical trials evaluating novel drug candidates, such as MEK inhibitors, immune checkpoint inhibitors, and targeted therapies, are ongoing, offering hope for improved outcomes for individuals with NF. Genetic counseling plays a pivotal role in NF management, providing individuals and families with comprehensive information, support, and guidance. Genetic counselors help individuals understand the genetic basis of NF, the implications of genetic testing, and the recurrence risks for future offspring. Through a personalized approach, genetic counselors assist in decision-making, addressing psychosocial concerns, and connecting patients with additional resources and support networks. They also facilitate communication between healthcare providers and help individuals navigate the healthcare system effectively. Appropriate and timely genetic counseling empowers individuals and families to make informed decisions, facilitates personalized care, and ensures the provision of comprehensive support throughout their NF journey. The study of neurofibromatosis is still ongoing and, as we uncover more about its complexities, we also discover improved ways to diagnose and treat the condition. Research has identified the underlying genetic mechanisms, leading to targeted therapies and potential breakthroughs. However, there is still much we don't know, and further investigation is necessary to fully understand the intricate details of this condition. To provide optimal care, a holistic approach that integrates medical, psychological, and social support is crucial. A multidisciplinary team can help manage the disorder and enhance patient outcomes. With collaborative efforts and innovative approaches, we aim to improve the lives of those affected by neurofibromatosis.